Hello and welcome back to the channel! Only two days after their 1027 event, Hasbro gave us a ton of new Black Series reveals yesterday at their London Comic Con, and right after that they did the same on their Hasbro Pulse fan stream. So let's talk about it. First one is an EU convention Black Series figure and its scanner redeco version of Admiral Akbar. This is a figure that we already knew was coming out and it's a part of 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi celebration. It's a re-release because this figure is already in the line, but here it's repainted in original Kenner colors. Akbar comes with a blaster that was included in original release, and a new accessory is his uh, staff, also to match retro Kenner figure. So new paint and that staff are new for this release, and the figure will come in that retro card back packaging for 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Pre-orders for this figure were opened yesterday for those who were at London Comic Con and for the rest of us it will be available on November 2nd. Next reveal for the Black Series is in Gaming Greats line and it is Bastila Shan from Knights of the Old Republic game. Now, I must say that I never played KOTOR. I know, I'm guilty. Please don't hate me for that. So I, I don't know much about this character. All I know is that the figure looks great and I'm sure that this reveal made a lot of fans really happy. She comes with her double bladed lightsaber and uh, the blades are removable. The plates that are hanging from her hips are soft plastic so they shouldn't hinder articulation that much. I don't know if this is all new sculpt, they probably are reusing some of the parts, but uh, I would love to hear from you guys who played KOTOR. What are your thoughts on this figure? Does she look like she does in the game and uh, are you satisfied with this uh, reveal? Next one is Darth Malek, a villain from the same KOTOR game. This is a brand new sculpt and it's a taller character so the figure should also represent that. He has a soft goods cape so that will add some posing options on your shelf and that's always good. His saber hilt is also a new sculpt and even his face mask will be able to open so we can see his whole face. This is a great feature and they said that this is one of the most unique head sculpts that they ever done in the line. Both of these gaming greats figures will be available for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse on November 1st and they should come out in summer of 2023. Next up are reveals for characters from Star Wars comics. The first one is another member from the Scar Squad. Remember, we first got Sergeant Creel and now we are getting Scar Trooper Mike. So they are really working on completing that whole squad and that's great. They have that great trooper mold so it's an easy reuse of the body with few tweaks. The figure has his uh, mic on the side of the helmet and uh, also has a blue reflective visor. They also made his uh, cool jetpack and uh, they sculpted it in a way that it fits to the standard armor parts on Trooper's back. So they didn't drill a hole in his back but found a way to still make it removable and that's great. More posing options. I just hope that there is enough uh, friction and uh, that the jetpack won't fall off easily. It will also have a working feature the jetpack can expand so that uh, you can have it in an activated mode and that's a cool little detail that they decided to do that. The packaging is a standard box for these comic releases but there is a small difference this time. When you open the front flap there is uh, no more plastic window inside but an image of a render instead. So comic line is now also plastic free. Next reveal from Star Wars Comics is Dr. Afra. The figure comes with a newly retooled scarf and a trench coat that are made from soft plastic so that they don't hinder the articulation. This is the second time we are getting Dr. Afra in the Black Series line but with a different look. She comes with her blaster pistol and her helmet is removable. The packaging is again using illustrations from comics and no plastic window on the inside. The third comics reveal is Mara Jade from Star Wars Legends and she comes with her blaster, purple lightsaber and a scarf. 
I'm sure a lot of uh, collectors wanted her in their collection, so it's a great reveal. Pre-orders for these comic figures will be opened on November 1st and will come out in spring of 2023. But what do you guys think about these comic figures? Are you excited about them? Are these the ones that you were looking forward to get? Let me know down in the comments. The last were pipeline reveals, so figures for which this is like an early announcement and that uh, won't come out until later next year. They revealed four new figures, three of which are part of 20th anniversary of the Clone Wars and one figure from the upcoming season 2 of the Bad Batch. Now these are great! I'm so excited about these! The first one is young Padawan Ahsoka from early seasons and man! I was really hoping that they will give us this version of her. Can't wait to see how will the figure look like. Next one is uh, Magna Guard. We are finally getting more prequel droids in the Black Series line and that's what a lot of us wanted for a long time, so another great reveal. Next one is uh, Phase 2 Clone Trooper, a clean white armor phase 2 clone trooper that uh, we also wanted for a long time. I have to say that this figure already exists as a custom over on AliExpress. I would call it a KO but uh, I guess that it can be that since uh, it came out before the original, right? So I'm guessing that uh, this original release will be the same as that custom, the same clone trooper body that we have in uh, so many variants, but now they are giving us uh, the clean white one. The last pipeline reveal is Omega from The Bad Batch Season 2. We already completed the team for first season, so of course they will change their design a bit for the second season and make new figures for them, so this new Omega is a start of that. So that's it, all Black Series reveals from this London Comic Con 2022. For me, as I said, I didn't play KOTOR, so I don't have any connection with these characters. There is just uh, so much different media types, characters and stories in this franchise that it's hard to keep up and uh, have other things in life at the same time, but uh, it's great. It's great that there is something for everyone, right? Movies, TV shows, comics, games. This is such a large universe and they have so many characters that they made and that are still coming in the line. The ones that I'm most excited for are Clone Wars Pipeline reveals. That uh, Padawan Ahsoka, of course, I mean, that's just an absolute number one for me. We are in a golden age for Ahsoka 6-inch action figures. There are already three versions and now comes this Padawan one. And uh, just wait until Ahsoka show comes out next year. I feel it will be like uh, they did with all those uh, Kenobi figures that came out recently. But I'm not complaining, I mean, give us all those Ahsokas. Next one for me would be that Magna Guard droid. I'm glad that we are finally getting more prequel droids in the line and I'm sure that they will give us more. There are so many of them that we are still waiting for. The third one for me would be a tie between Phase 2 clone and uh, Mike from Scar Squad. I love Star Wars Troopers and I already have that Phase 2 clone from AliExpress and I'm kind of sure that Hasbro's official version will be the same, same Phase 2 body but completely white. That's kind of an easy release for them, but uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. What about you guys? What reveals are you most uh, excited about? And uh, what are figures that you are still waiting for Hasbro to announce in the Black Series line? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.